Look at the cows on that one. This ain't sweat. Good news about the rain is, I just peed, nobody knows. In this episode of Cycling Skills, we want to give you a quick rundown of one of the most memorable and exciting cycling weeks we ever had in a whole life. Where exactly did we go? What did we ride? And why you should definitely plan to visit this place as well? All right, so Mallorca was definitely not going to happen because I'm not rich. Uh, and actually, most of my trips are like rich adjacent vacations. So I like to usually see all the sites and see everything that the location has to offer without the fluff and the pampering and the bills. So we had one week in March to get away from the cold northeast, we're in New York, and I wanted to bookend the week with two cycling events, also affordable if possible. Fortunately, I have access to this amazing camper I built by myself, but you can do the same trip in the tent and be super comfortably. There's heated showers, I'll tell you where. I mean, okay, on day one, the weather was not great. Let's not call it bad weather, let's call it suboptimal. So we drove the 13 hours to Greenwood, South Carolina for the first Southeast gravel event. It poured all night and the tiny little creeks were mm, not we're passing. Back to the main road and we're gonna restart the race. And we're gonna go on Pearl Tail. But since we came from upstate New York uh, and the rain, it was all kind of warm. It didn't really bother us at all because it was more about temperature than rain. So we could deal with the rain. It wasn't a problem for us. Oh, boogeyman, boogeyman, boogeyman. How's the lightning? It's so scary. <laughs> you okay? What are you it's doing? Not okay. It's, like, not okay. it's not okay. It's not okay. <laughs> the rain is not okay. And of course, the day after the race, the weather was beautiful, not a cloud in the sky, and we ended up driving to Greenville, South Carolina. Now, Paris Mountain State Park is about 10 minutes north or five minutes north of Greenville, South Carolina, just up the hill. And uh, the campground's super cute, like 40 spots only. And we love camping because we can cook our own food and we can save a lot of money this way. And uh, there's heated showers and bathrooms. It's a great spot, mountain bike trails, there's a lake, a lot of hiking. And for $231 for the week, bargain. Now, why is this such a great location? Because you're only like 25 minutes away from Hotel Domestique, which is where I would like to stay one day but I can't afford it but uh, this is George Hinkapi's the cycling legends boutique hotel and uh, according to the images and the reviews it's exceptional but unfortunately at 469 dollars out of my range but what is in my range is riding his Grand Fondo loops and I would totally consider coming back in October to ride maybe the larger Fondo there's three different distances, so maybe you want to mark your calendar. Definitely a great loop. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, hi. Oh, cool. We ride our bike in the bike path there. I like this shot. This is the third time I'm here now. <laughs> I don't know, I keep buying stuff. Keep coming back. Apparently that first rainy race did a number on my bike. Yeah. What are we doing? Uh, Mount Mitchell, climbing it, yeah. 72 miles, 7,000-ish feet of climbing. It's an out and back. Mount Mitchell is the highest point East of the Mississippi, right? I think that's what it is. 
Isn't it higher than us by us too? No, yeah, it's like high. It's highest point yeah. on the east coast, like east of the Mississippi. Yeah, the no, no, no. Google it. It's a, it's a big <laughs> one. It's a big one. Correction. It's uh, 62 miles and 7,800 feet of climbing. Oh, 10 miles off. I know. Damn, that's what makes so, me happy. That is what we're gonna do now. Just up and out and back. Yay! Okay. So this ride doesn't start from Greenville, South Carolina. It starts from Asheville, North Carolina. But it's a little over an hour drive, not too far. If you have a good weather day, check your weather, please. It is definitely one that should be on your cycling bucket list. This is an epic. Alright, so let's talk about Greenville, South Carolina. Where do we live? We live up here, cold. Down there, not so cold. Maybe a little too hot in the summer for me, but in March, temperatures 60, mid 60s, perfect. So the thing about Greenville is they have a huge cycling scene and they have a bike path or a trail, the Swamp Rabbit trail that's about 20 miles that runs right through town and there's hundreds of businesses along the trail you can buy food stop for coffee get your bike fixed i mean it's the uh, smartest thing a town can do is uh, make cycling infrastructure and uh, businesses will flourish now this this right here that makes me really mad because how dare they have a mountain bike skills facility with drop-offs and berms and jumps I mean, how dare they? And uh, why don't we have this where I live again? Wow, our taxes are way higher than theirs. And yet we can't have anything nice. Oh, God. <laughs> Listen, I could totally live here if it weren't for the heat and the humidity in the summer. But for right now, it's a great place to visit in March and do a cycling training camp. It's the Blue Ridge Extreme Gravel. Sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> so we signed up for it. Beautiful Virginia, just about 30 minutes from Charleston, Charlestonville? Charlottesville. Charlottesville. Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlottesville. 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 Send a German to the US and make videos. There you go. That's what you got. <laughs> um, I think it's all single track, a lot of single track on gravel bikes. And, uh, We'll give this a shot. Yay! <laughs> Bit it. Not a minute to spare, like always. <laughs> Off to the single track. <laughs> you seem very excited about I this. I am. Okay. I uh, forgot the chamois cream again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we just hooked handlebars. Nothing to see here. Only almost face grinding right before the start. I think when I the start line, he was like around about here. Yeah. Around, yeah. No, I love those. This is like, this is officially not a race. Let's race. <laughs> what are you doing, the 50? No, I'm doing the 30. Oh. What? You're doing the 34. Say it again? The short ride. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'll see you at the end, so what, if I make it. What, what? I'm sure you'll be fine. I don't know. Well, have fun, Stacey. All right, see you then, babe. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Alright, so let's find out what's so extreme about this Blue Mountain Extreme Gravel event. Thank you. For the cheer. I know. I don't look so Whoever made a Sava segment that doesn't stop at the top, screw you. What the? Alright. I did a wrong turn on the mountain bike trail. That's I was like jumping all over the place. Yeah. Good run. But wow, what a week we had. I did about 300 miles and 30,000 feet of climbing. Okay, one bad weather day. Two awesome, reasonably priced cycling events. I mean, I might have to do the same thing next year again. Even if I could go to Mallorca. I really liked this. This was great. So listen, I'm still planning my Arizona trail trip from Flagstaff to Tucson. Uh, kind of looking at the weather, kind of like, oh, I'm not sure. Unfortunately, the budget, according to my ad revenue on YouTube, it's hundreds of dollars. And if you're interested in my bikepacking trip that I've never done, I've never slept by myself in the woods alone. So that should be interesting. Um, please subscribe, follow along. I'm sure um, I'll be scared. Oh, and also liking this video is kind of like tipping me because I get a couple of ad bucks and it's not money out of your pocket. Until next time, keep on keeping on. Mm -hmm.